Guys, Dib the Awesome here to give you a Monster Legends First Impressions Review, uh, where we play uh, a new monster that I get, and uh, today we got uh, Toasty or Pudgy, aka Nitro Blaster. Now, why is he called Toasty or Pudgy? Well, guess what? You decide what his, you know, his last name, <laughs> you know, his name is. <laughs> or wait, maybe I can combine it into like Toasty Pudgy or Pudgy Toasty. <laughs> You guys decide. You guys decide whether it's a combination of, you know, toasty, toasty, pudgy, pudgy, toasty, or just toasty, or just pudgy. You decide. Vote now. It's, a, it's democracy. It's America. <laughs> uh, anywho, this is the latest elite monster in the game. Now, Dip, how do you have the elite monster so early? Well, I do want to get the player avatar for the book. I'm almost done. All I need is Wang. I'm sure he'll come out in, like, the the store for like ten dollars or whatever i'll get that and i'll have the book done for the spicy awesome avatar uh hopefully that avatar never gets on sale and that's the exclusive to the book i'm really hoping that because damn <laughs> that's the only reason why i even got this to begin in terms of just now rather than just maybe trying the event or like waiting a future event or whatever uh that's the only reason why i got him now i got him at the, i got the 30 dollar deal uh Really just to complete the chapter, and I thought, hey, let's do a video, uh, let's, let's have some fun with it. And now Toasty here, or Pudgy, uh, Nitro Blaster, has, uh, is a monster who excels with extra turn, not only does he have extra turn skills, he has fire weakness, uh, essentially it's a better Flamerion, if you want a really, really short, you know, explanation, it, it's just a better Flamerion. His cooldowns are better, stamina cost, as I recall, were better. And, uh, he has, uh, he's fire, he's, he's even a different element, he's actually a fire, <laughs> he's actually a fire monster, you know, unlike Flamerion, who is a metal monster, Nitro Blaster here is an actual fire monster, uh, he, and he, uh, you know, with the, uh, other, art, you know, monsters, he has artifact, he is, he's actually the first fire monster with artifact, he's not the first monster of a different type to pretty much have artifact. In fact, Totem is pretty much the first monster ever in the game to have artifact. However, it's an upgraded artifact. In fact, it's, it's still to this day an exclusive trait. Uh, solely for Totem. Like, Totem has uh, advanced automation. Or, you know, ar artifact, I mean. Uh, so that's pretty dope. Uh, and this is also the first artifact monster with an evolving trait. Uh, at rank 1, he gets water protection, which means he becomes a Ragnarok. At rank 1, he is not weak to basically anything. He takes normal damage from water-based attacks. So ba basically, he's Ragnarok. At, at rank 1, he has no weaknesses, essentially. Unless you trade Disable him. If you trade Disable him, he will have weaknesses at that point. But until then, uh, as long as you have your water protection up, uh, you know, the trait. I, I think it's a trait. It looks like a trait to me. Uh, you, you're just not weak to anything. At rank 3, this is when he gets really nice area damage increase. I think he becomes, like, Barbiel. I think that's the Warmaster's name. I think he becomes, like, Barbiel, uh, where he gives everyone a damage increase. So that's pretty dope. I think this is temporary, though. Uh, it's not permanent like Barbiel's, because I think Barbiel's is as long as he's alive. If I'm not mistaken, let me know if I am mistaken in the comment section below. But I think that's how it worked. I, I think it's just as long as he's alive, you get more damage. Uh, which means it's, it, it gives your team a nice boosty boost, especially if you're using older monsters that can increase their damage quite, quite a bit. I don't have no idea if it actually stacks with other, you know, damage boost stuff. I don't know if it counts as its own unique buff. It's something to check in the future, but for right now, I have them at zero. I need two more ranks in order, you know, three ranks in order to get the, that, you know, testing out. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's whatevs. It, it is, it's totally whatevs. Um, so we're going to level them up oh, one step at a time. There's no need to... <laughs> By the way, this man's baby form is my favorite in the game. It's official. It is, it is totally official. This is, like, my favorite, like... You can't get any better of a baby form than Pudgy Nitro Blaster, I tell you what. Uh, this applies fire weakness and gives an extra turn to itself. This is really nice, I like that. Uh, applies damage boost, bleed, and true vision to itself. Uh, requires a cooldown. So I'm guaranteed not to miss with this. Like, if you run this buff, you're pretty much guaranteed not to miss. Unless it's a 50% chance. 
I will say if you use a 50% chance when you have True Vision up, you still have the chance to actually miss the things. So it's not as, it's not as optimal as, per se, things that run at a basic percentage. Uh, but it still helps those 50% chances land, which is nice. You, you will actually see them land more often than not running it, so it, I always say it's great uh, universally. It, it, it helps those 50% chancers, and it'll help those, uh, whatchamacallits. Now, I'm actually interested in knowing, uh, failed step to humanity, does this, uh, does he actually get this even though he's out of artifact? I, I gotta check that out. That might be something important to look up. He's got a burn and ignite to one enemy. Those, those these skill. Okay, so this like skill right here. Uh, this is pretty much like, uh, is it Gooey or whatever? I, it's the <laughs> Gooey's the the guy that the, I named this the big old mega taunt fire one. They, I, Mephisto. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Mephisto. Uh, Mephisto basically does that, and it's, it's a really nice skill. If you can do, if it has burning in addition in one, fantastic, amazing. This skill is actually really garbage against him, though. I will say that. Unless you do this skill, burn, baby, burn, just going for. It's <laughs> like uh, this is good. This is this is a nice one to combo with it. Uh, burn and fire weakness. Uh, you do this skill first. Obviously, the damage does nothing at first, but when you then you do burning beam, bada bing, bada boom, more damage. D O T, amazingly nice. You won't instant kill anyone though. <laughs> It's good for tanks. Like, these, this skill's good for tanks. I might just run this. Deals moderate special damage to one enemy, then low damage to all other enemies. This might actually be better on, like... I, you know what I think this is? This is for area dodge monsters. Like, let's say you're, the enemy's running a area... One area dodge monster. You do this on the area dodge monster, and then hit everyone else. This only works if the enemy's not running a taunt with it. But if they're not running a taunt with it, this, that's what you do. You hit the, you know, the other guy, and then you hit everyone else. This is actually not the first time that uh, a monster gets a move where it hits a single person and then low residue damage. It's not the first one. I do believe Mega Ostium was the first one to do this. I don't think it's a skill worth running. It's it's too low. I don't think it's like too low of a base damage. Uh, deals heavy special damage to one enemy. Applies sunburn to one enemy. Gives one extra turn to itself. Uh, let's see here. Um, I like the... Because I have a special damage to one enemy. I think we run that one. I don't really have... It's not... The skill isn't an extra turn skill, and it's not ranked up enough for me to take advantage of it. I, I've, I've yet to see a skill that does it, so we'll give, uh, we'll give this one a shot. Uh, deals heavy fire damage to one enemy, applies burn and fire weakness to one enemy. Uh, that's burn, baby, burn. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Though this skill is better. Okay, so straight up, look at this one. Uh, deals moderate fire damage to all enemies, burns all, and uh, ignites all enemies. This is a nice skill. Th this is a nice, this skill is really nice. It doesn't do it, like... So, okay, so here's what you do with, uh, do we have a, oh, we do, okay, so, okay, this is pretty, this is pretty dope, here's what you do with this, okay, so turn one, use dehydration, it's just as a level 100, I'm sure he has better, like, skills and skill, you know, skill groups for, uh, but this is a nice combo, you do dehydration into bream of inferno, uh, which burns and ignites everyone, which is amazing, and it's really, that's really good, so, okay, yeah. Uh, you do miss out, you, either you want to, uh, okay, so here's what you do. Either you want to keep, uh, I guess you would, it would make sense, you know, it would make sense if you keep Burning Beam, because it's another fire skill, so it amplifies the damage of dehydration. Or, like, you get benefited from that. This isn't a, this is a special base skill. Oh, but this is an extra turn skill. <sighs> Let me think here. Um... This is a unique DOT, but I think so, the, another monster can apply this. Oh, but this has better base damage. Uh, I think it's dependent on the situation. If you're dealing with Mephisto... Yeah, I'd still run this. No, this is still better damage. No, it's, it's theoretically better damage. Because he got Fire Weakness up. 
Let's see, yeah, fire a weakness up, you, you can destroy everything. So yeah, we're running this. Oh, this is also single target, this isn't an AoE. <laughs> yeah, this is fine, this works. I will say that's probably, look at your core, is probably the best single target burst skill. You know, just level him up all the way. That seems to be his last skill that he gets at 100. Or, like, those, those, seem, those all seem to be... Uh, that seems to be the build at 100. I don't know his skills from skill groups 4. So, again, this is my first impressions video. I don't really have... Uh, I could probably pull it up, too. But, uh, nah, I'm just gonna level it up. Le le level it up. Alright, so that's the, uh, oops, I didn't want to do that. Uh, so that's the, this is the build I think is nice for a level 100 Nitro Blaster. Uh, you get the Core Exploder, which gives you an extra turn, and applies Stun Burn. That's really nice. Um, I will say if you're running into Anticipation Monsters more often than not, uh, I'd say run the single target skill. I'd say run, look at your core. Uh, because I, I think this is, um better in those situations because really in terms of using your extra turn skills it is kind of hard to use them if there is a uh ragnarok on the board or just a marquise de flambe uh, you don't really get much opportunity to uh use your extra turns if you don't have the proper team set up with like either like a mega you know it's stunner or a trait disabler so it is really tricky to use extra turn skills nowadays for the most part uh, so we'll run, it has better base damage too. Ah, we'll, we'll still run this, but in terms of the sense of anticipation monsters, which I actually fight a lot nowadays, um, I, I'd run look at your core. But the, that's the only alternative. Beyond that, we run the, the dehydration, more damage for burning beam and B beam of inferno. Lovely, awesome. For relics, this man can actually hold an amulet and a chest piece, or like, you know, this is armor. I think this is just called armor. Uh, a amulet and armor, which is amazing. Self, the self-sustain on this monster is phenomenal. Like, to the P, phenomenal. Uh, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna run Nibada's armor. I, I think this man's busted with Nibada's armor. Because not only does he have access to extra turn skills, you know, having access to Nibada's armor, which gives you healing, and uh, stamina region, once he hits below 50%, it's like pretty much a life reset for the monster. Amazingly nice. And if you don't have Nibada's armor, hey, guess what? If you have... Uh, is it Ulsus Amulet? Yeah, <laughs> Ulsus' Amulet, uh, you get healing, like massive healing, That's a, so that can be a substitute. Or you could run Supercharge Amulet, gives you more maximum stamina, or you could run the Energizing Amulet, which gives you stamina back if you ever get stamina drained. Uh, amazing, awesome. Perfect, though. I think since we're running Nibada's armor, hey, why not run a, you know, recharging relic, uh, just to ensure that we get our stamina back. In case we're not below 50%. So guaranteeing us, uh, we cannot be stamina drained. And we can't be denied to begin with. So this thing is guaranteed to turn in if uh, if they don't trait disable us. If, essentially, if they don't, do not trait disable or cooldowns activate, we are guaranteed to turn in. Uh, and while we're, since we're running two extra turn skills, uh, I guess it doesn't really matter because we are running... We do dehydration turn one into our other skills. I guess that doesn't really matter then. But uh, I, I think in the future, we'll get more extra turn skills down the skill group's path, the skill group's four path. So uh, the combo will probably be more cleaner. It wouldn't surprise me if he has a fire-based extra turn skill. Oh, we better set him up with some runes. Uh, let's see here. Oh, he's got really nice stats at 100. Look at the, whoa, look at those stats, my boys and gals. Amazingly good stats. Yeah, we're going to shove... Two damage and a speed. Why speed dip? Eh, so he doesn't get lost in the turn. Or, well, I guess we don't really need to. Now, so you know what? Full damage. That's that's the build. Full damage, my boys and girls. Full damage to the D damage. 
It's over 10,000. <laughs> there we go. Holy hell, it's actually, it is actually over 10,000. <laughs> there we go. There we go. We're, we're going to fry someone. <laughs> Someone's going to fry. <laughs> All right, uh, it would make sense if I run GUI <laughs> with my uh, Nitro Blaster. Because I think he himself even benefits from it because he does fire-based damage himself. Like a single target skill, so we'll do that. You know what? Full fire, baby, full fire. My boys and gals, full fire. All the way to this day, full fire. No excuses, full fire. What, what else would make a good fire? How about some sexy blast? <laughs> <laughs> full fire boys full fire full throttle full fire <laughs> here we'll, uh let's do let's fight this one full fire as we wear as we proudly wear our baby holters icon <laughs> there we go uh you know what? We'll do uh, guards down, guaranteeing we land our damaging skills. He doesn't have anything to remove my mega taunt. So I am guaranteed to do whatever I really want. And uh, we'll do possession. Right now, his cooldowns activate. I didn't want to do that. Alright, uh, let's do... Okay, so we actually get to start now. Oh yeah, this is only to one enemy, so we can we can only ever completely destroy one guy at a time. Let's completely destroy this, uh, whatchamacallit, this, uh, where it's this, uh, Undertaker. Let's do the single target skill. There we go. <laughs> did, you get, did you guys see that? I got died. <laughs> I got exploded. Hashtag exploded. <laughs> now I made the mistake of not running a recharging, uh, whatchamacallit, for my, uh, this guy right here. I, I forgot to run my, uh, recharging staffs. If, like, a recharging staff, I mean, you can only hold one. Uh, now we can do dehydration again and completely annihilate. Mostly, yeah, just completely annihilate. <laughs> Because our fire damage is also increased on everyone else on that monster. So it just completely destroys it. Completely. I'm sure he has a skill that's an extra turn fire weakness. I will say this is something you probably want to run. <laughs> Alright. Yo, let's completely destroy this, uh... Dunra base. This is actually... This was actually a bad idea. Because <laughs> I can't, uh... Actually, I can do... This actually is... Oh, I'm, I'm just going to get the... You know what? Uh, I'm actually just going to get the... Uh, I'm going to protect my... Oh. Whoops. I did everything wrong. <laughs> everything was wrong there. This man is getting destroyed right now. Alright, now we can wolf. We'll do dehydration. Into our burning beam. I actually missed the, uh, whatchamacallit, that's actually bad. <laughs> Diggity damn, I also forgot to apply the whatchamacallit again. I will probably die here. Oh yeah, I can't be stunned. Dehydration into core exposure. I have to recharge. I have to recharge again. <laughs> okay, that wasn't a good one. <laughs> take, five, take five. Take five. I gotta take five. Yo, what would what if happened if I run Yamada with this team? Dude, let's do that. I'm gonna run around Yamada, my boys. Everyone needs more Yamada in their lives. We're gonna run the healing potion, and then we'll run stamina trap. Yeah, let's get some armor on this man. Let's get some clothes on him. 
We'll put them in the finest gold. Oh, uh, let's see here. Uh, every single one of them are most positive effects. <laughs> I need that mega taunt, my boys. The fire squad needs its mega taunter. Doesn't do me good if they remove it. It'll load eventually. <laughs> Sound there. Oh, dude, let's do it. Dude, let's fight Harry. Harry Potter. Harry Tan Potter. <laughs> dude, Harry Tan Potter. Harry Tan Potter. Ludo. Hey, this man's got some nice naming. Ludo from Star Wars is the Forces of Evil, anyone? Hey. Oh, wow, he's got the, uh, he's got the book icon. That's pretty dope. That's awesome. I got a recharge here. Alright, so... Just because I don't want to lose the unit, I'm probably just going to toss the AoE out first. We'll do... The heal. Let's heal up. Oh, that's a lot of DOT on him. Yeah, we'll extra turn that, kill that, into dehydration, into, uh, and do this. That guy dies next turn, healing hit. Actually, he dies now. <laughs> he dies now with a capital N. Now. <laughs> Dead. With a capital D. Dead. Really nice damage output, even at 100. I think he gets... Dude, this guy's gonna get insane when he ranks up. Uh, I think the uh, ranked up natural blaster is insane amount of damage. Clearly the best attacker in the game right now. That adept. Uh, I just wish he had, like, a spammable extra turn... Or not a spammable extra turn, a spammable move in general. He's really weak to cooldowns, so that's the only real problem with him. Uh, let's get all of our stuff back. We'll do... One more multiplayer fight. Let's do, uh... Let's fight Gustav. <laughs> for my... For my... <laughs> Gustav. For, for my... For America. <laughs> America. Gustav. Dude, that's a dope name. I love that name. I'm honored to fight this man. Gustav. Uh, and I still don't run the cleanse on it. Alrighty. The recharge. This poor man keeps getting possessed. I feel bad for him. Alright, so we'll do... We have to do core exposure on that, and then we'll toss the D.O.T. out. L-A-D-O-T. <laughs> uh, let's heal up. The medevac. This man's still getting denied for days. Extra turn. Into... Oh, dude, we'll just do another extra turn on him. That way we'll get it next turn. Flying free for free. We got our <laughs> we got our flying free pass. And then we'll do burning infernal. D O T yeah. Oh yeah. Hey, our boy being a homie, look at all that damage he's taken for us. I ran out of stamina finally. I've been cooled down. That's actually a bad. <laughs> That was, that's actually bad. Heal and hit. I can heal. Dehydration into burning beam. There we go. <laughs> D dead with a capital D. 
And there you have it, Mr. Nitro Blaster at 100 by boys and gals. Really nice monster, I gotta say, at 100. Even, even at 100, it, it runs really nice. Uh, obviously, getting cooldowns activated uh, seems to be his only real problem. That, that was the only real thing I had trouble with, uh, was getting cooldowns activated, and that was like at the end, I think. Uh... Since he can, I will say, since he can hold an energizing amulet, it does help him a lot. However, uh, Flamirion can also hold, can hold the, uh, uh, staff, you know, category, so it has better recovery in the sense he can run the, uh, Cane of Atlantis, which gives everyone on the team, uh, you know, pretty much all their stamina back, back once someone hits below 50. Uh, that's a really good team utility-wise. I will say in terms of, you know, team support, uh, Fibirion has a really nice team support relic. Uh, his sword is kind of selfish in a way because you, too, because you just run, like, you know, armor and stuff like that. Uh, occasionally you'll see someone run the damage on his, but that's more often than not if you see armor. Uh, this, however, has really great self-sustain. I mean, like, it, it's really selfish, but to be honest, this guy is kind of like the jock of you know, your team, because, uh, if he, you know, he pretty much carries, uh, because of the, you know, trade, he can't be denied in a normal traditional sense, unless you trade to save one, uh, and since he has so many recovery options in his, in terms of his relic, uh, forte, uh, you know, his, uh, armor, uh, it's pretty great, it is really good, because you can run the but us armor, you can run, like, an amulet that gives all your stamina back, we'll probably get one in the future, that just gives you a whole bunch back instead of just the uh, bronze relic we have right now. Uh, that's pretty great. Uh, comboed with this too, however, like it, it's really nice. It, it is really, really nice. Uh, you have pretty much guarantee stamina. Like you know, it doesn't bother you at all. You are pretty much guaranteed to move, and that's pretty incredible given the fact he is a monster that excels in extra turns. Uh, at some point, like at some point, he has a lot of extra turn skills. I do recall in a skill groups 4 that he did get a pierce ability. He disables his own trait, but gains like pierce and positive effects protection, I think. Uh, allowing him to go through mega taunters. And that's pretty incredible. I will say, uh, to be able at that point, to be able to do dehydration into one of your stronger burning, you know, fire type skills. That's incredible. So, one last note before we go, my boys and gals. Vote now. Toasty or pudgy? You guys decide. Or both. You know, we can, we can keep it toasty or pudgy. <laughs> we can keep, we don't have to choose. Yeah, we can keep both if you want. <laughs> I just, but vote now. Vote now. Toasty or pudgy? In the comment section below. I'm Dibbly Awesome. I'll catch you guys later. Fantastic monster. Have a good day.